Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about assembly connectors and delegation connectors. In our previous video, we discussed about the difference between component and composition and we discussed about types of software component and what is there inside the software component and ports about P port, R port and PR port. I have mentioned all the videos in the description. I have mentioned the playlist also in the description. You can watch my complete AutoSAR playlist to understand more about AutoSAR concepts. Connector. A connector is used to connect two ports in different software components. To make a communication between the software component, we need to connect the ports. Meaning one software component will have a P port, another software component has a R port. And connector symbolizes the data from flow from the P port to R port. P port means provider port. R port means require port. There are two types of connector is present. Assembly connector and delegation connector. Assembly connector. It is used to connect ports of a software components within a composition. Delegation connector used to make the ports of the composition available from to the outside of it. Now we can discuss more about what is assembly connector and what is delegation connector. Now first we can discuss about assembly connector. You can see we have a P port in one software component, R port in another software component. To make a communication between these two software components, we have to connect P with the R port. Meaning P means provider port, R means receiver port. And it is also responsible for passing data or signals between the connected components. But it is used to connect ports of software component within the composition. Because comp components will be placed inside the composition. If you want to make a communication or connection between the ports, the interfaces and other properties meaning data types, everything should be matched. Otherwise, RT will throw the error. You can see it here. Here I have taken example of P port. It is called as PP underscore sender. And R port is RR underscore receiver. Here we have a sender receiver interface. And to make a communication between these two ports, you have to do the connection inside the composition. For an example, connector tag. Here assembly software connector. Assembly software connector means to make a communication between two software component within the same composition. Then it is called as assembly software connector. So here provider I, I reference and here we have a requested I reference. So provider I reference we will mention this P port name and requested I reference will mention the R port name. Basically we will have a path with that path we have to mention it. Delegation connector you can see this example we have a top level composition inside the top level composition we have a two composition one is composition A another one is composition P, B. Inside the composition A we have a one software component called software component A. Inside the composition B, we have a software component B. If you want to make a communication between software component A to software component B, then you need to make an outer port. So to make an outer port, we will use the delegation connector. For an example, this software component A has a P port. Here you can see I have selected the P port called PP composition sender. For this P port, here with the use of delegation connector, we have created the outer port reference. With the outer port, that means we have to create an outer port for composition A, meaning inside the software component A. We, same thing we have to do for the other software composition and software component. And these two will be connected via assembly connector. But if you want to directly make a communication between inside the composition, meaning software component A to software component B, this is not possible and it's violate the AutoSAR rule as well. So you have to create the outer port by using delegation connector. It is means to make the ports of the composition available from the outside of it. And here you can see the complete example. And finally this will create as assembly connector. Here we will have a delegation connector. That is here noted as a del. So it is called as a delegation connector. And if you will do in such a way and as we discussed in our previous video in the difference between composition and component when you are going to do the flattening then all the composition will be removed. Finally, the component component connection will be visible. That is generally called as a ECU extraction. So, the basic difference between assembly connector and delegation connector is within a composition, if you have a two software component, then you can make a assembly connection between the ports. But if the, if you if the software component is inside the composition, then you have to make a delegation connector. 
that is the difference between assembly connector and delegation connector thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us you can share you can subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day